I'm sure I would go to jail for some protest or something. Do this, hold on, no, no. he can't do this! He didn't do anything! Ah! I feel very grateful to have been a part of the journey and, and the storytelling of what it meant for Blanca to go into the ten, a detention center and what it means politically uh, right now in terms of what we're living in, in society. It felt urgent and important because of the immense response that I got from the ending of season six where Blanca is gonna get deported seemingly or at least detained by ICE. Um, I started to get emotional about the responses that I was getting. There's so much concern about this character's journey, but it was like reflecting because of the pain that we're seeing in society right now and what we're seeing in the news. So I felt compelled and inspired to start this series. It actually came from my friends. A friend of mine had a t-shirt. It said, immigrants, we get the job done. I took a photo and I felt compelled to talk a little bit about her. And I felt like, wow, this is a person who's an immigrant who is doing an amazing job and, and, and is having a, a very positive impact on American society. And that's how it started. I started this uh, Immigrant Stories by Laura Gomez on my Instagram every Thursday and it's just a personal project of mine. I want people to remember Blanca as a fighter. I want them to remember the transformation that she went through, not only physically but as a human being. That. Uh, we went from thinking of her as this crazy person to finally seeing her as a warrior type of thing. So I believe that this is an example of there are no small roles, that's for actors out there, and never judge a book by its cover and that's just for people in general. <laughs>